So today we are going to draw something new and let's go. First I'm going to use this photo as my reference and then using some color for the face and maybe I'm going to zoom and darker and right. going to use draw the outline of the face first and uh, under the face the lines and the line of the neck like this then the beginning of the uh, uh, hair like this so different segments of the face step by step I need to see what's going on on this side so and here, here like this and end of the nose tip of the nose maybe and eyebrows the eyebrow and the mouth and this and this okay we have some lines here and facing for the nose like this Basically everything you see, you try to do, and it doesn't matter if it isn't look like exactly like that. But you're going to uh, reshape it, reform it. Every step we're going for. I'm going to use a lighter color, opacity on 100 below maybe on all right welcome stop to working <laughs> I'm going to restart my computer for some reason my welcome stopped working and I had to restart my computer and let's continue I'm going to use this color as my base color and some darker color for the hair much darker yes like this I'm going to use it I'm going to use more flow so I can use less pressure on my brush and Little by little, you're adding more detail. Using a darker color with more red in it. So place, for placing the basic shadows of the face. So we have the basic shadow around the eyes. And one basic shadow for the nose sometimes over the nose and always under the nose and there is a one shadow beneath the lips and some maybe here and here below her chin line jaw line sorry and continuing so there is nothing so much 
to talk about when you draw and I don't know maybe to, uh, the music fill you in and I'm going to place the shape of the face here with more shadows I constantly using the alt key and for blending the colors together so you can see that my cursor became like a eyedrop I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC I think it's a 2022 version I don't remember exactly what is it but and again working with the colors with the shadows and the lines the shadows and the lights it's like creating a clay you know playing with clay to uh, a sculpture the shape not a 2d shape it's a 3d form so it's very different and that helps you to understand the forms of the face so not basically doing something extremely 2D trying to capture in the 3D assets of the forms I'm going to lowering the flow about to 10 and playing with the forms again trying to read all every mistake you made you basically you're going to make some mistakes when you draw and it's not uh, perfect when you start drawing but as going you forward in drawing you will read all them and rework them every step So using this okay. maybe more that I need here. Maybe and some sharper colors for these areas and here. I need some highlights for here and extreme highlight for this spot also for the nose and the tip of the nose more it for this part So constantly look at your reference picture and immediately look back. So that's a training that you should do when you do all constantly checking. So don't focus only on your drawing check it with the reference picture so if you uh, focus only on your drawing you will lose the reality of the reference and you will lose the
similarities that you want to create. I'm not a hyper realistic fan but sometimes you need to make some realistic similarities to learn the shapes of the face I need a, a highlight here more shadows in this area you maybe hear the fan in the back door and I'm sorry for that I'm feeling good today you know the last episode that I used the mic and camera was very successful for me I don't know why I didn't sound great I couldn't uh, talk but today is a good day for me it's not day but you know what I'm saying and also please tell me what kind of uh, video you like me to do this type or speed paints or another type that I don't know maybe uh, no doing something else meanwhile though I give me your ideas I'm kind of lost for ideas right now so I need your help to find out the perfect form for these YouTube videos. Also when I draw and uh, film myself, record myself, it's extremely painful on my back because I need to stay in the frame. But when I'm not recording myself, only I record the screen, it's a very different story. So in that case, I can move, I can sit, whatever I like. But this is different and completely new for me. I'm trying my best to do a different thing with these videos and they I hope they not became boring for you to see maybe I create some kind of a speed paint and talk over them let me know about that too so basically I'm uh, trying different things and testing a lot of ideas and really really I mean need for new ideas because the only speed paint is it doesn't have that human touch in it you know and when you watch YouTube you kind of like that you want to see who is in who is doing it and what is on their mind when they're doing it and also uh, I'm testing the upload rate and YouTube seems like to uh, like it when you upload like once a week or something like that because uh, more you upload it shows your videos to less people so that's one of the reasons that I'm um, uploading less I maybe go and take a day job so currently my only job is this 
and the projects as a freelancer but I may be really consider that till this YouTube and became my main income so basically right now it's completely doing it for free you know there's no income from YouTube right now for me and by the way as I'm doing it with my Wacom Cintiq I can see how different it is from one by Wacom that I done one video with it and that looks very bad that I had to delete that video but Wacom Cintiq is very different very effective and basically in less time you're doing much more with it because when you use a graphic tablet your mind is doing two things at the same time uh, looking at the monitor and drawing at the surface of your graphic tablet is not a great thing and it took a long time to draw something that is not really look good I'm going to save it and take a step back and maybe relax my back and going to continue it sometimes it's good to take a break between your drawing and uh, continue on it with a fresh eye and that make you see your mistakes and with the line there so I'm back after the an hour more break and I'm going to continue to try as I was saying Taking breaks between drawing is help you to see your artwork uh, with fresh eye and see your mistakes and the things that you can change at your drawing. But sometimes you feel so good that uh, you just continue draw and complete it in one sitting and that's completely okay I usually do that because personally I don't like uh, very long sessions of the line I like to do something very fast very effective and move on to the next object and that's me maybe you different but I like to draw as effective as possible so uh, uh, with a bunch of brush strokes to complete and portrait or entire artwork so I'm not really a fan of a long drawing session that you continue to draw in like a uh, something that people do with those uh, hyper realistic drawings I don't really like that because what's the fun about something that you do over and over exact same thing you know drawing every new face now and then and a drawing new subject every time is fun you're drawing the portraits but it's different every time but drawing one painting or working on one painting for basically some people do it about a month on one painting I, I, I really can't do that you know I worked in uh, advertising and 
as a legislator and in the advertising agencies you always have to do it fast very fast because clients always in a rush and basically everyone is running around so you can't do uh, a very steady and a slow paced you have to do it you have to do it fast you have to make it perfect artwork for the project and do it fast and maybe that's why I made me like this because I really don't like long sessions for me it's like uh, 20 minutes is the only minute 40 minutes you know is the longest time I can sit in the front of computer and work on something I can't do that in a long time I get bored sorry maybe you are not like me maybe you like it uh, on a slow pace that, that, that's just just me you know I can't do that I get bored so fast and that's why I love digital art because you can do so many things but when you paint traditionally that's slow as hell nah I'm not going to do that again that's a slow process I can't do that slow I like to do I, I like to sketch on my sketchbook and things like that but not a fan of paintings in the way that people do nah. thank you uh, so I'm going to add more red for the lips you see I'm uh, as long as I go as far as I go I try to create my colors not uh, using it from the reference picture because that's help you to understand the colors and that's a good thing to do that's a good practice for understanding the colors and things like that and about the uh, opacity and flow you know when your opacity is low like so many people do and I was doing a long time in, a, in my career opacity uh, makes your drawing look uh, gray you know everything will become gray but flow let you mix the colors and keep the sharpness of the colors you can make them darker or lighter but they are still sharp colors and so many people are sought for the black and white I do sometimes and that's a different approach and then add colors but I because I was very bad at colors I always used that method I, I always started with a black and white and then uh, add some multiple layer or something like that on it but um, now I, I, I just want to play with the colors that's a certain thing that I like to do and that made you make you uh, to understand the colors better when you start drawing with the colors not just the black and white and then add some multiple layer or something to it also uh, I draw with the values 
I really don't deal out with lines too much. As you can see, it's like painting more than a drawing because when you uh, use values, you create a three D subject. But you know, there is no line in the two D world. Everything has a to the dimensional nothing is two dimensional in the real world so that's why when you start drawing with values you understand more of the shapes of the four and uh, to the aspect of the painting or drawing or why character design or whatever also tell me if you want me to create some uh, character design videos I want to do that because everyday drawing portraits is kind of boring and I want to mix things up I may also uh, I, I said it before I may also talk on fast forwarded videos because this may be became something uh, boring for people and some people like me I personally like to listen to the people you know the videos that are someone talking on it or my thing and some people like to listen to what you say and some people like to see what you're doing and I'm trying to blend those things together and show you and talk to you as I draw and show you my way of approaching on the painting and drawing uh, also I need to add some more shadow here you know the, if I just uh, talk about the painting it, there's not very much talking to it and you need to watch me to understand what I'm doing because it's a visual thing not a lingual thing Ling, lingua, lingua. <laughs> not a vocal thing it's drawing, it, it, it is not news, not a story but uh, when you combine it with something like a storytelling telling or something else uh, you can uh, sorry. you see what I mean I got get zoomed out when I'm drawing I guess going there and not coming out but I'm trying I'm trying to keep you entertained as much as I can and I usually when I do I play some video in the background so I listen to the video sometimes I look at it and that's what keeps me company and I don't know if I can do that on YouTube maybe playing some video from YouTubers that I like and I draw in a capture of my painting and also have it like little in the parts on the screen like here the things that I'm watching when I die so then that should be cool but I don't know that uh, what is the rules of doing that on YouTube you know I don't know I can do that with the youtubers or uh, I have to contact them about every single video 
or I can't do that at all I, I, I don't know I, I have to ask some people to search for it and I think that could be a cool idea to watch something you know like you are watching me do also what I watch when I draw if that makes sense okay I think it's looking good so far so good I like it it's not so much like the reference photo but I don't really care because I need it to look like what I want it to look like I try to be fair to the reference picture as much as I can but I'm not going to punish myself for making it exactly look like that and in the end it, it, it's my artwork not that picture that matters that picture matters for the uh, artist who took that picture so I'm going to create my version of it okay so let's add some highlights for the eyes and I need some kind of something to the mix and that's a new layer um, choosing color lookup and then from this menu I'm going to choose moonlight that makes it look like it's night and in this uh, mood I can that I use I like to add to my portraits I'm going to opacity 100 and fellow about 20 and let's play with some light you know experimenting with some things like this entertain with your drawing with your artwork and make it cooler to watch uh, I need to change it I uh, hit X to change the foreground to the background
this portion of the face is on the light. shapes of the four of the uh, face so it gives you that to the effect okay not bad not bad, not bad at all remember we're not we are not looking for the perfection we just want to do something that is not bad if that's your mentality, you never be burned out as an artist. So many artists want to want to do a perfect job, and that's why they can't do anything. Just relax and do something. As long as it's not very bad. Sometimes bad is good. You know, you need to do something bad to get better. That's a normal thing for someone that's trying to be an artist. Okay, I'm going to add it to the background too. So like this to give it some deep depth. going to add a new layer so some highlights on that layer uh, maybe a screen for the layer type and uh, add me some very very smooth about fellow for and this Anytime it's become too much, you can erase it very easily. That's the beauty of digital painting. You can edit anytime. You see that I'm making it. Maybe some more red for the. Doesn't 
too. Okay. Alright, I think that's enough for this day video and this also. I'm going to add a uh sorry. I'm going to add a wave wipe lens to it to pop out the colors and that's it thank you for watching i hope you like this video and give me your feedback about the style that i'm doing these videos with uh, narration and the webcam and give me some new ideas and don't forget to subscribe to this channel i really hope you enjoyed and informed with this video and hope you learned something and had a good time thank you so much